Good morning everybody and welcome to today's golf drill video. Um, looks like we've got a couple of beautiful days weather forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday so let's get out and uh, really make the most of it and keep those golfing muscles going over the next couple of days. So uh, today I want to talk a little bit more about the second half of the backswing. Yesterday I talked about the takeaway and the importance of making sure that you turn in a circle with club arms and chest over those flex knees to really get the powerful coil of the upper body against the resistance of the thighs. And I also touched on the fact that the reason a lot of people don't make that move is because they feel the club gets too far around behind them. And you see lots of people I coach where the shaft angle is too flat in the backswing here. And then because of that, at the top of their backswing, they have to lift their shoulders to get the shaft steep enough to come down into the back of the ball. And that circle action and the using the shoulders too much into the downswing can then cause a steeper chopping action down into the ball, which can cause missed strikes, loss of power, and quite often the ball starting left of target. But as I said, to get rid of this action or this too flat a position here, you don't want to stop turning the body. And lots of people counter that by starting to lift the arms and shoulders. We still want this powerful rotation of the body so therefore what we need to do is train the wrists to hinge correctly so that we can keep turning our body powerfully as our wrists hinge. And as we first start to do this, it can feel very strange because it can feel as if your body's going in one direction and the club is going in a completely different direction. And I've got lots of people to do this drill in the past where I ask them to feel this vertical hinge of the wrist rather than this incorrect action and then when they get to this position here they feel as if the shaft is absolutely vertical but in reality it's actually on perfect swing plane so I'm going to give you a drill here which is going to help you to check how the actual angle is of the shaft and it will feel probably more exaggerated to you than it actually is so what you want to do if you can just about see this red stick here you want to position it so it's either on the same angle as your shaft or maybe even slightly more upright than that angle and position it in such a place that when you finished your one piece turn away here you're just this side of the shaft and if you can position one of these so you can see your reflection in a patio door or window that would be fantastic so you get to the end of the takeaway where you've turned around a central point with your thighs resisting here and now you can practice this feeling of this, what feels like a vertical hinge, but you'll see it's actually keeping the shaft, when you get to this position here, pretty parallel to the stick. And that shows that you're hinging your wrists correctly, and therefore you can get the club up over your shoulder look without any lift of the arms and shoulders. You can simply turn your chest as your wrists hinge, and you get a powerful coil and a correct wrist hinge. This is gonna really probably stretch parts of your body again differently. Do lots of slow motion work on this. Get it, take your time getting this set up to give you a nice visual guide. And then you'll, it's all about feel golf. So the more you tinker with this in slow motion, you will start to get a feeling for how vertical the wrist hinge feels in order for it to actually look correct rather than looking too flat and laid behind you. That's one area, then as you get used to that feeling, you can then combine it with the feeling of rotating the chest over those flex knees to build the coil. And that's how you can piece this slowly together in slow motion. And that's why these golf drills are so fantastic in the garden, because you can really get a chance for your brain and your muscles to start to coordinate together. You'd never be able to figure this out, hitting balls flat out at full speed. You don't need a golf ball to develop, just tinker away with this and you'll end up with a more powerful coil with a better wrist hinge. So let me know how it goes, send me any uh, emails with questions, and also don't forget to send me some photos of your garden set up for your golf practice, and I'd like to put my favourite one in the newsletter each week. So get practising and see you tomorrow.